Hello guys, welcome back to episode 17 of the Gone for a Burton Save on the Custard Prophet. Now apologies for the last couple of episodes, I've been sounding a little bit sort of husky, um, and as I still do. Um, fortunately I've got a bit of a cold which is just not being shifted. So, uh, well, maybe it's good for the ladies, those that are watching. Hello ladies. It is the creme d'anglais. Are you enjoying my series? Does that, does that do it? No, no, it's probably not right. It's probably very, very wrong. So, what I wanted to start with today is, before I talk about what might or might not have been happening in the Disasterville, which is our season, we made a signing. So, um, Callum Hutchinson is getting a bit annoyed that he's not getting games. He's not getting games because he's not good enough. So, we, we, we've made it even less likely for him to get games because we bought in another left wing back, which I think is a good thing to bring in. And he looks really solid. Free transfer, four-star player. He's 30 year, years old, but that's not a problem. But, you know, he's got um, he's got decent tackling, good acceleration and pace. His crossing's OK, his dribbling's OK. He should be a decent player for this level. So I'm, I'm, I'm really quite pleased with this signing. So next up, I don't want anyone getting too excited. We have played a few games. We're, we're where I expect to be. I'm not sacked. And we have our first win. Yeah? We have won a game. Unbelievably. Just one mind. And we've been smashed and all the rest. But it still represents progress. So... Where we finished up last time was uh, against Norwich, and so we played five games. Yeah, we played Millwall and actually played really quite well. We changed we changed tactics um, at this point, uh, which kind of resembles the tactic I kind of switched to right at the end. So um, let's just go here. So it was with the uh, with with your ball winning midfielder back down in this region here. And trying to be trying to use the wingers more, trying to win it in the centre, get it out to the wingers and hit them on the break. So using pace and power, etc. And in this game, in this game against uh, against Millwall, who were riding high in the league, we played really, really well, limited their chances hugely, and created a few ourselves, which was fantastic. So I was massively excited we they scored in the 90th minute so it kind of highlights how well we were doing I mean it was fairly close until about 10 minutes before the end and they switched the afterburners on and we couldn't live with them but so then we played Warsaw who are one of the teams who are down there with us and we played this was a really good game this is the best we've played all season we created five clear-cut opportunities that's pretty much the entirety of the clear-cut opportunities we've had in the rest of the games put together I think we only managed to score two of them, which is about sums us up. Um, and uh, and then uh, Ulare scored a, a world. It is Stephen Quinn's first goal, which really highlights how badly things are going. Because last season he was unbelievable. I don't think Allen scored as well. So I think we've. I mean, it's for the two best players in the team have kind of disappeared. So then we went on a bit of a run where we were playing Cardiff, who were. Uh, uh, so the Cardiff, West Brom, Blackburn. Yeah, so the, the the top three, and we lost each one of those games fairly easily. So I think it was really hard to determine whether this tactic's working or not. So we are coming back against Wigan, who are a team that we should be doing a little bit better against, and we'll see if it works against them. We've only scored two goals in the last month but it did give us three points so hopefully hopefully we can do a bit better in the month of November so let's get into it this is the, the team we're going you already saw a little preview what we've changed since the last game is I'm slightly worried of having um, Quinn back in this position he wasn't particularly great at it so we moved it a bit further up he's a little bit um, no no, no. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm putting him back in. I can't not have him in the team. Marv Sordell's come out because he's just not scoring goals. Uh, we got Ambrose on the right, which is probably the difference. 
<coughs> Raul Garcia is playing at left back and we've got Spence at right back because Brayford is just coming back from injury. Okay, so let's go and not yet. Apparently, so Elder is going to have another little rest. No, we're not. We're going to. Bular is going to have a little rest. We'll keep them. And he's someone I, I would like to give a few more games, but I don't know. I don't know where to put him in. No one's particularly playing well at the minute, but this is an important one. It would be lovely to be competitive and maybe get a, a point or even better out of this game. So we're going with a very similar tactic to what we've had in the last three games where it hasn't worked particularly well. Ambrose and Garcia didn't play particularly well in the last game, but we were against one of the best sides in the league. So I'm hoping that Ambrose and Garcia can look a bit better against a side who's not that good. I think this is a better test for us. Okay, so that's a good start. They've got all the possession. Oh, it's four shots to one. No one's actually managed to get a shot on target yet, so this is all good. This is more like it. This is, these are the games I like, and we're not actually giving hundreds of chances away. But... You know, one one shot from us in 20 minutes. Oh, God, that's why I didn't want to play him. He had a high injury risk. Oh, well, Gapy's coming on. I'm still playing Crispy Crespi. I, I don't know why. I mean, should we? This is, I mean, it's dull football, I don't think, but dull football at the minute is the dream. We haven't seen, no team's seen a shot for about 10, 15 minutes. I don't know what's going on. Just like passing it around and oh no, there's a shot. Oh god. Oh, oh so we've got the ball. Fraser. Out to Ambrose. I'm slightly concerned about Ambrose because he doesn't seem to have done anything. Lovely ball across actually to Sims. Oh my god. Ober Famey has scored a goal. We've scored a goal. We've gone in front. This hasn't happened before. Right. <laughs> what do you do? What do you do when you go in front? I mean, I don't want a time waste yet. Oh, I haven't even done a shower. I'm so excited. Creative. Uh. <laughs> the pressure. No. Come on. Oh, God. I mean, it's, it's not the greatest game in the world. We've I think that's as good as we could hope for. What I think tactically we might do is just push it back to a cautious approach. And hopefully that puts a few more people behind the ball and when possible we can break out from that. To praise them. Still not really not creating any chances. Oh, they've got a chance. It's probably here. Let's mean do something. Let me win it off them. With one half chance each. Hardens in top top. Uh, when it goes out wide, you've got to worry. No, <laughs> no. No, that was not a penalty. He got the ball. He clearly got the ball. The bloody guy was behind it when he started the sliding tackle. Oh no, what a bloody comedy of errors. Fecking Will Grigg and his boot, boots on fire. Oh, oh, this is cheating. Like, how do you not get your body in the way there? And how was that not a penalty? It's utterly, utterly ludicrous. Right, come on guys. Don't let them cheat us out of this game. Referees in their pay. Slightly worried Crispy Crespi might be in their pay. Balls like that. Oh, good God. Right. Right, something needs to happen. We're not particularly looking amazing here. Right, we're going to go. I mean, this is a strange thing to do, maybe. Put a bit more personnel around the striker hopefully that can 
give us a couple chances. And Fraser is a great, great player. Jamie Allen, nice ball. I'll see approve why you're in this side, please. Nice ball. Oh, please be on side, Mr. Fraser. Miss, oh, what a bloody goal. Scotty Fraser, second goal of the season, assist by Josh Shems. All of my decisions worked, that's... Right, Ambrose. I'm utterly unconvinced with. But I don't think, unless I do... That? Yeah, well, we'll try that, but I would like to get Will King because he's, he's a player we own, and it would be much better to get a player that we own doing well than a player that someone else owns doing well. So 70 minutes. Fraser has got the ball. Raul Garcia around to Allen. Allen into Fraser. Fraser. Sims coming inside. It's Gape. Gaping hole in front of him. Beautiful ball outside to Spence. Spence, as he can play the ball in. He does, he does, you know, but Fraser can't put it in. We're playing much better. We are playing much better since we put Fraser up top. Maybe this is the... I mean, look, you look at their number of shots and stuff. I guess the, the quality of chances isn't, isn't, isn't as good as it looks. Right. At this point... I think we have to kind of put the walls up and just hope for the best. We're going to time waste. And Fraser is coming off. But McEnough, McEnough is going in there as a defensive midfielder. We are going to go defensive. Uh, we're going to take the overlap off as well. We're going to take the overlap off. Um, And we're going to take, we don't want those back. Right. It's a knock for Dabo. Right. Yeah. This is getting, getting more and more crazy. Sims. No, no, you come back here. You don't disobey me at this point. We're all in this together. Keen. Oh, you can't play there at all. You are, well, too late. That's where you're going, mate. Oh, have we done it? Have we got our first away win of the season? We have, I think. We have, you know. I mean, do we deserve it? I, I will say we do. I will say we deserve that. We've got the win. I mean, it's, it's good. I think it's great. We need a lot more of that. I'm really pleased to be able to do it on, oh God, Stevie Quinn out for five to seven weeks. Eeh. One appearance away from 15 league appearances as well. You might have to work hard to get there, that sort of injury. Right, so next up we have Leeds. Let's just have a look at where that puts us in the league. So we're, we're still a cut adrift a little way, but we're not far off Warsaw now. We, we could, Leeds are doing flying high as well, typically. Um, but if we could take, take a couple more wins, we could start to push ourselves up near Hull and Peterborough. Have we got them coming up soon? No, we don't. Villa, we're eight. QPR at 13. Sheffield Wednesday. Ooh. So, yeah, I think once we get Leeds out of the way, it, it starts to get a little more easy right see you in a second right so um we're back and slight changes to the team so quinn's out we've brought gape in there to fill that hole we swapped ambrose and over Fame round and um, we did originally have spar on the bench but we've got lucas on there now and um 
I think that's everything we've we've done. I did think, oh, Brayford's, Brayford's back in now for uh, Spence. So let's see if we can do something to Leeds. Look at them there, Bamford, Roof. Ugh. Ugh. Too good. But we're coming off a win. And there's not many times this season we've been able to say that. So hopefully it can give us some confidence and hopefully the change around um, between uh, the Fabian and Ambrose will work. Right. So we have played quite well against some of the better teams. Ooh, Fraser. All of a sudden he's come alive. Nice, nice control. Oh, what happened there? Did, get a, did he save that? He did. He did. That was the shot, wasn't it? Presumably. Alan's got it. What's he going to do? Oh, no. He's nothing. I kind of want to get Ambrose playing because he looks quite good statistically. His, his attributes look, look quite, quite good, as I said. Still not sure about Mac enough. I think Gape is nowhere good enough for this level, but he's the best I've got in that sort of ball winning midfielder role. When Quinny's not around, I think that's certainly an area we, we need to look to fill. If I, if I manage to get as far as Christmas, that would be a good place to go. It's very, very tight, very, very even game at the minute. Nothing really going on. Oh, they got a chance here. Oh, well, looks like he was probably unsighted there, Roddick. Too busy playing tennis. Ooh. Oh, good God. Pinball. Oh, they had the chances there. They had the chances. Praise, yeah. They're nervous. If you praise them, you get less nervous, you'd think. Has that worked? Don't even care. Don't even care. Oh, seven, seven to three. Yeah, that, that good start. This seems to be quite often I do this. We have a good start and then it's just kind of lose our way a little bit. I find it very difficult to get back into it. Any advice on how to stop that happening, please put that down in the comments. It really annoys me. Yeah, passing-wise, we've not been passing it quite as well. But that's probably a lot about the way we're playing. Right, well, we're going to keep it the same. Hopefully, try and push on a little bit. Uh, yeah, we'll get creative early in the second half. Nice well, chance for somebody. I mean, we haven't even looked like a chance in the last few minutes. Ambrose, uh, back to Gustafsson, I smell Leeds getting a goal here. Out to Dallas. <laughs> oh, that's a wonderful shot, wonderful shot. Yeah, I can live with that. You, you shoot from there, I'll be happy all day. Right, so it's not really working brilliantly. We've got a lot of yellow cards in the midfield. Do we do it? We bring on. Mac enough, Mac enough. Can we do that? Yeah, is that might that, that, that work? Jamie Allen, even though he's on a yellow card, you know? Allen. It's into Mac enough. Oh, well, you know, if you just scored then, you might have got a start next time. Remember that. Not a lot of goals in this team, so you can get one of them. Uh, end of highlight, end of highlight, end of highlight, people. Nope, not, not end of highlight yet. Sordell, Fraser. Up to Obafemi. <sighs> oh dear, that's, yeah, a bit, a bit much there, mate. Right, 
Over Foam, he's done next to nothing. You've got to bring on the old favourite. He's been out of the team for a little bit. But he, he is someone who can pop up with a goal. I mean, he hasn't done it this season. In fact, he hasn't played, he's hardly played this season. That's the one I'm surprised about that because I'm the one playing him. But, right, so they've gone like that. So they're, they're going more attacking. So we can be a bit more cautious. But hopefully that means we're more likely to get them on the break. Right, and then a final change. A sort of fit and raring to go. Marvin Sordell is always a chance for a ball over the top with him. And he does score them. <sighs> Wide. Can we? Do we? Yeah, last few minutes. I mean, that would just be wonderful just to sneak a goal just before the end. Raul Garcia. This is a chance for somebody. I've gone attacking. Is this the world's worst mistake? Another chance for Leeds, but... I mean, it's if we can hold out, I think it's been a successful episode. It leads to a good side. But if we can hold out, free kick, offside, yeah, always offside. Over the top, over the top. Go on, Marv's there. Over the top. Blah. Right. It, it was fine. It was fun. We had five shots on target each. That's the only stat I'm looking at. Four points out of the last two games. That's... Ooh. Oh, God, I don't know. We'll ignore that. Succession of fouls by Burton. Yeah, well... It worked, didn't it? So we're only actually... Five points now behind Hull. Oh, that's catchable now. Okay. Well, I am much more positive. You've actually seen one of the few times where we've won, we haven't actually lost a game. So, congratulations. So, we're going to play, uh, we'll play a few games now. Again, if something dramatic happens, we will come back. But Probably we'll come back for the Peterborough game and one other. Well, we've got FA Cup. Oh, no, it's not until January, is it? So we'll come back for the Peterborough game and one other, maybe. Um, see where we are then. But I hope I'm, we, we're going in the right direction now. Um, I wonder in January if we make, if we can make a couple of changes. Whole oh, that's going to be a huge game. I think we'll play that one plus the FA Cup one as well. If we're still here. There's a lot of very big games in January. But if we can keep ourselves in the mix until then, we're going to give ourselves a chance. Well, thank you very much for coming along uh, for, for this episode. If you've enjoyed that, hit the like button. Please subscribe if you want to see more. Leave a comment down below. Tell me what, uh, what I should be doing. Tell me, uh, tell me where you think we're going to finish. Do you think we're going to survive at the moment? I'm more confident than I was, but I still don't think we'll do it. I'm going to give it a good go, though. See you next time.